Welcome to Eatery Love Store. Come join me. We are celebrating our 100,000 order. 50% off available on our Prosperity Piao collection. It comes with 15 different kinds of crystals and it's real gold. Make sure to visit eatreadlove.me. Order yours today. Okay, Taurus, let's see what you guys have. We're gonna do your monthlies. This is your November. We're always giving here. We're always serving. Okay, I put November instead of Taurus. So I don't forget what I'm making. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's a high energy, high octane over here. <laughs> you can fast forward to the read if you are familiar with the whole process. But if you're not, big announcement. Thank you very much to our 100,000 order for our jewelry collection for the past month. So excited that we added not just the Prosperity Piao to our 50% off, but also the Money Magnet Charm. Look at the gorgeousness of this. Personal favorite, oh, favorite again. <laughs> My Filipino accent is thick. Personal favorite, wag na kayo ganyan, bumili na lang, wag na yung nagtatanong. Okay. <laughs> personal favorite here is Obsidian. This is my personal favorite, okay? But we have more than eight, uh, 16 for collection for this one to choose from, and this one 15 collection, different crystals. We do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. It comes with a free money magnet charm that we handcrafted. These are all handmade, by the way. And if you combine both this and this in the US, you get free shipping. Mm -mm -mm. Thank goodness, Sal, for the free shipping. I know, you'll be buying your Chanel, but you will not pay for shipping. <laughs> it comes with a free masterclass that I just finished shooting in the description box below on how to choose the perfect crystal for you. So the time that you're asking is like, why is this not working? Why is it not working? Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. So I'm there to help you. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, I have been eating chips. So if you guys don't see any cheese. <laughs> Last time was chocolate with you guys. Now here comes the cheese. Let me see. Now this is a holistic read. I would give out remedies. Some may be crystal. Some can be practical things that you can do at home. And holistic means we're going to look a lot of things in your November. We're doing oracle and can be astrology also. Your first card is the fool. Boy oh boy. No. <laughs> Why is that? Why do you see? Well, this is you taking a leap of faith in life and just going with it. You're saying to yourself, like, I want to experience, you know, things that you probably haven't. Like, think of it this way. You grow outside the box. You grow when you experience new things. Let's just say you have never done pottery. Okay? I've done my pottery like four years ago and I was still in, um, you know, different side of L.A., um, and it was amazing, right? I've never done it, but it's like, okay, everybody's doing it. But no, no, this was four years ago. No, no, nobody was that. It wasn't that thing yet. <laughs> okay, I think so. But I grew from there. I made my first jewelry dish bowl, you know, and I have it until now. And I always cherish that moment. It, it brought a lot of uh, connection with me to where my jewelry is right now because that's something symbolic for me because it's like, wow, I didn't realize that I would have a jewelry collection and that's why I had this. So experiences in life with the full card um, brings us to something new, something fresh that brings our soul, okay? I'll show it to you guys next time, the, the jewelry dish that I'm so proud of. I mean too. Um, like we come into life with a lot of experiences and those are things that at some point, because you have the full and you get the magician, that those are things that can manifest and help us with our dreams, okay? So you can connect the dots, basically, of what have you been experiencing new, okay? Or are you living, basically, just in your, in your, in your space, which is okay also. There's nothing wrong with that. But this card indicates progress by stepping out of your comfort zone. And it may be difficult for you because you are a fixed sign. It's hard for you to explore because you're probably a creature of habit. But maybe instead of doing certain things in a certain time, you can do it on a different time. But you're going to tell me right now, why fix something that is not broken? It doesn't mean it's broken. It only means that you're becoming more flexible and you're going to invite something new in your life. You know how you wake up, you work, you go home, you sleep, you wake up, you go home, you work. Maybe you can include before you wake, when you wake up, you go for a walk. 
that you've never done that. Uh, I don't know if your neighborhood is safe or blah, blah, meaning, you understand me? Okay, sorry, I heard, well, that's pizza. <laughs> Taurus, you guys are serving food? <laughs> I heard the door, it's like, okay, you got as lunch. Oh, you got a temperance over here. You guys know I love food. Um, temperance over here. Oh, it's just cheese. Just cheese. Just cheese. Don't do meat. I don't do that. Um, I'm seeing here with the temperance, it's showing spirituality, realizing um, that you need work, healing. This is a transformative time for you with your spiritual beliefs. I love it. I'm seeing for the Taurus here. Yes, of course. This. And this is reconciliation. Now, if I focus on a relationship, then of course it can be. But there has to be some truth into it, right? Why are you trying to reconcile? You love, you want to work it out. We're married for the past 20 years, so I don't want to get divorced. What is the truth? Because that leads to victory. Only if you're honest with yourself, then can lead you to this experience. I feel like it's a very rich spiritual time for the Taurus this coming November. Something that you would experience. Like, in as above, so below. Because these are major arcana with this, okay? Ace of Swords is a travel card. You may be getting that visa, passport. Um, how do you call it when you need to travel? It's like visa, right? Um, and you're getting it. Now, having the swords over here, important documents that you need to sign. Uh, this is also a, a certain email that will open doors for you. This is a sword going down. You will make a decision, and this decision breaks a lot of, I feel like, karmic energy in your life. I love, okay, because it's the truth now. You're facing it. You're not scared. Now, let's dive deeper. Okay. Okay. Now, there is no extended reading to this, guys, because I I, I don't have the time as of the moment. Um, you can tell, 100,000, um, and it's not stopping, guys. That's the thing. If you see my Instagram, it is not stopping, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I finish this read, I start making the bracelets. All right. Um, I'm seeing here your your energy is about... Because you have a paper boat in the ocean. Okay. You have a... Tel, uh, it's like a telescope and an arrow. I feel like there is a sense of lost and belonging. Do I want to be here in this relationship? Should I be in this relationship. There's a feeling of loss. Like, you may be with a long-term partner, and look, it's a loyal heart. But you're questioning. It's almost like um, an eat, eat, pray, love, that movie, right? She has, a, she has something good. The marriage was good. Everything was good. She was more of looking for herself, right? So you maybe have something good. This is what we call in Dasha Sandhi, when a Dasha is changing, the person changes. And it's nothing wrong with you and nothing wrong with your partner. I don't see that. But it's more of like, I feel like I want to explore Sal. I want to I wanna be free. And there's nothing wrong with being free. It just so happened you can't be free <laughs> when you are bound in the seventh house in a relationship. You understand me? So this is a, a crossroads to continue this relationship. But you could also be like, Sal, I don't know if I should reconcile. But your emotions and feelings right now, well, you can't have a paper boat in the sea and expect that you can wither the storm. Now, the boat symbolizes the structure of the relationship. No matter what you do, yes, they're loyal, but you're not happy and you feel alone and you feel like there's something lacking from within that you're not really finding in this relationship anymore. Then you have to come clean and be honest with the Ace of Swords, isn't it? Because I feel like the, that person do deserve the truth. If you are falling out of love, I'm all out of love. Right, is that the song? I'm so lost. I don't want to get copyrighted because I don't give justice to the song. That's why they're going to hit me cover it. So understand that there is something good in this relationship if you do want to pursue it. Because mm. there's a loyal heart. Mending relationships, uh, it can be, um, you know, like a challenge. I mean, for everyone, right? What crystal would I recommend for mending? I would recommend jade. I would recommend, of course, rose quartz, pearl. Um, mending a relationship, healing it, Okay. So you can check it I'll, up in the corner of this video also. So this is what I'm seeing for majority of you guys, a healing time, okay? Now, the temperance, I mean, it's a good, I think it's a good relationship. Okay. 
Das ist aber ein Einzigen. Peace and deep knowing. Wow, you're going deep for the month of November, Taurus. Understanding yourself. Okay, that's the peace part. And the deep knowing of what is it, what does it mean to be a Taurus? Or what does it mean to be you? It feels like you have an untold story that you want to express to the world. Okay? Like you live, you live a life where you want to share it. I don't know, is it a platform, writing a book, social media, you know? Are you creating something that you feel like, no, I want the world to see the real me. But it can also be like, I want the world, meaning your family, or you're the person that you're in a relationship with. I want them to see me, Sal. You're definitely having a Julia Roberts moment here, okay? I don't know why, but that's how, where I'm tapping into, of course. That's, you know, and for me, the tarot is an instrument. It's divination, but that's how I feel. You want to be heard, you want to be seen, you want to be accepted, you want to be loved, you want to be cared. There's a lot of things that you have put in the sidelines. I feel like you're a giver and you keep giving and then people don't see how much you're going through it. Does it make sense? Okay. We're going there. <laughs> okay. We are going there. Now, we got an Ace of Swords over here. Now, what has brought me healing? Of course, Rose Quartz. That's where I started my healing journey, my first crystal. A little tiny one. Mm -hmm. So you can have a Rose Quartz here. Mm. And then, of course, I did my Tai Chi. It's Kwai Gong. Um, I don't know if that's available for you, around you, but you need a guru for that. Um, it's, uh, it's Yin Yoga. It's what it's called also. I did that. Oh, oh boy. Every time I go to the class, I'd be releasing the trauma, the pain, the suffering um, that I have been carrying, not just this lifetime. It has helped me. So if that's available to you, I want you to Google, you know, um, yin yoga helps. Okay. You got chop wood and imagine. You have the tools to separate yourself from what you think that people has put up. Oh, there you go. You were put into a box. You are put in, not a box box. You are put into a label. Is that what it is? Like there was a label attached to you and you're just trying to break free from that. That there are some certain expectations, you being as a Taurus is coming November, that you want to break free from. Okay. Um, chop wood is you understand that you can do this at any time because you're doing this for yourself. And there's this whole part of you that needs to be expressed out there. I feel like you're a very creative person and you're having some sort of blockages. And that blockages is them not seeing you or your partner or not being able to practice what you have been dying to practice. Are you wanting to be an actor or actress for the longest time? Live your life. Go for it. A model. Are you? Do you want to open a store? Go for it. Start with an online store. It's easier. Okay. But that's what I see here. The sky's the limit for November for the Taurus because I see here victory. Mm -hmm. So visit our website, eatreadlove.me. I'll see you guys again.